All right, let's talk about demo reels. So a demo reel is going to be a compilation of your work as an actor. My recommendation for your demo reels is going to be also the same thing as I said for headshots. Make sure that it's role specific. Um, you should have several different demo reels um, just so that they can showcase what it is that the casting director is casting for. If the casting agent is casting for a serious role, then don't send them a demo reel that just shows a bunch of comedy. Send them something that is close enough to fit the description for which they're casting for. If starting off, if you don't have anything that fits the description for which they're casting for, make sure you at least send them your best work. Your best work means that's something that you can show your dynamic range as far as acting. It doesn't mean send them the work with you alongside some name actor. If you did a scene with another actor just because they have a name, but you don't have any lines or any words, it doesn't do anything for you. And it doesn't impress that casting director either. Make sure that whatever you send them has your best work. Or, and even better, send them something that is close enough to fit the description of what it is that they're casting for. What's so important about the demo reel is it shows the casting director all the way down to the executive producer and even the directors, your acting range. It shows what it is that you can pull off on camera. It shows off your level of acting. If you don't have work to show at the beginning, hiring a demo reel company can help you get this. But make sure the company that you're hiring is producing quality scenes because a casting director can tell if it's just something amateurish. They can tell if you just shot your own or if you hired just a student to shoot your work. Your work should be well produced. Your demo reel should also be tailored. It should be tailored to fit your brand. How do you see yourself as an actor? What type of roles do you see yourself going out for? That's the type of demo reel you should have created. It's also important too though, to make sure that you do other scenes because at the beginning, it's not like you can really pick and choose what type of scene that you're going out for. So you should also make sure that you have enough in your toolkit that, can, that you can submit to casting directors for whatever type of role that they're looking for. And a demo reel company can help with that. Just make sure that your demo reel is professionally shot by a company who's used to producing quality work. Something like Taylor Talent Reels. We produce high quality work. The staff are filmmakers who've been doing what they do for over 20 years. So your average demo reel should be close to two minutes in length. Also, it should be a compilation of your work with you acting. A lot of people will send in demo reels and their music video, or it'll be more like a sizzle reel where it shows just them, their face with no dialogue and they're just dancing or doing other things. Those things frustrate casting directors because a casting director wants to see how it is that you fit in the role that they are casting for. They don't want to just see your face. They don't want to see a music video. They don't want to see you skating. They don't want to see you hanging out with your friends. They don't want to see any of that. They want to see professional quality work. And they also want to see your talent as an actor. Your demo reel should really pop. Um, your scene shouldn't be very, very long. It's just enough to show the casting director that you can act, that you know how to carry yourself within a scene, and that you fit the description for what it is that they're casting for. Your demo reel does the same thing as a headshot in regards to shows the casting director what you look like. It also takes it a step forward. It shows them how you would look within that role that they're casting for. It also shows your ability as an actor and how well you can carry yourself within a scene. 